Okay, I'm here at the B&B Theater. I'm gonna watch a movie called Strange Darlings. It's a... Uh, it looks like some sort of maybe horror movie or something. I didn't see a trailer for it. I don't know nothing about it. But uh, when I get back out to the car, I'll let you know what I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. Strange darlings. So uh that was that was intense. <laughs> uh yeah, so this is pretty interesting movie. It messes with your mind and what you're thinking and uh plays on your assumptions about the men and the women. That sort of thing. So right off the bat, this movie's like, alright, we're making some art here. We're making some art and we don't care how you feel about that. <laughs> so, uh, get ready for art. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's doing all the things. It's like, this movie's in chapters and then the chapters are out of order and it's it's like we got we got black and white scenes right off the bat and you don't know what's going on and and uh we got we got a Texas chainsaw massacre like text crawl <laughs> you know explaining some stuff <laughs> but it doesn't really explain stuff you know so it's, it's like man <laughs> and then and then it's like it start off with this crazy chase scene, you know, and you got a weird, you got a weird car, and you got a crazy dude in the truck, and you got a lady, and she runs, you know, that sort of thing. And the, and the soundtrack was way overbearing, <laughs> and it just reminded me of uh, uh, the soundtrack to Mandy. How it's just like, Dah! it's just like real intense, loud noises. So I was like, man. So the the movie it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty interesting. The way that I mean I don't want to do any spoilers here. So, but it's like I didn't I didn't guess what was going on. I had some ideas about what was going on, and I was very wrong. And then I then they introduced another a weird couple that are in into into Bigfoot and I was like, I don't know. Is this movie doing this weird thing? And I was like, oh, that would be unfortunate. But it didn't do that. So I was like, oh, that's that's good. I I will say this, uh the movie does not have anything supernatural about it, you know. Cause I was thinking the movie was gonna take some sort of weird left turn that didn't do it, so I was happy about that. And then, yeah, yeah, it, uh, so it's basically, so this, this couple, and the, one of them was on Young Sheldon, the, the man, he was on Young Sheldon, he was, uh, one of Young Sheldon's mentors, not the, not the guy from Princess Bride, the inconceivable guy, not him, it was the other mentor, <laughs> so, the antagonistic mentor of Sheldon and Young Sheldon. He did a good job, you know. <laughs> they they make an insane breakfast, I'll tell you that much. And the movie was kind of funny, and some of the things it would do too, you know, just, 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 just some things were just random, and it was just it made me, it made me laugh. So, but the movie is pretty intense, and it goes into some some weird power dynamic territories. And stuff like that it might make some people uncomfortable. So if that makes you uncomfortable, that's unfortunate. You know, you know, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to get triggered. This movie might trigger some people's, you know, who've had uh, lackluster experiences in relationships and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting movie. You know, I didn't see any sort of advertising for it or anything. It's just, it just, 
you know, popped up that was playing at the theater. And I was like, well, I guess I'll, I'll go see this, you know. And I was pleasantly surprised. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know how many people, like, since it didn't get any advertising, and I didn't even see any, like, viral marketing for it or anything like that, so, it really, this one really is just word of mouth, so it's like, if you can hear the words from my mouth, you know, this is a pretty interesting movie that you can go see. It messes with your head and your assumptions about the men's and the women's and stuff like that. And and power and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And violence. So, yeah. The Strange Darlings. It's a movie that exists. You should probably try to, to watch it or something. Yeah. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Strange Darlings. Something. So, uh, yeah, I'm throwing those thoughts and opinions up on the thoughts and opinions pile. Those soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. That's what usually happens. But uh, go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions. Put them in the comment section. Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, all that sort of thing. And uh, don't forget to feed your cat. It gets very, very hungry. And, uh, you know... Don't forget the Percocets.